cold, isn't it? So, hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, yeah? the voice of hardcore boxing. Right, first of all, I want to thank everybody that's subscribed to the channel and that's liked the videos and left a comment means a lot to me that I'm just reading some of the comments I want to thank everybody that's emailed me All right thank you very much for your emails I do get the emails uh, if they're genuine emails uh, if you want to come on the channel feel free to send me your phone number and I will arrange a time to phone you and have you on the channel now a lot of people don't like to come on channel the, 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 the shy they're not shy in giving their opinion but the shy when I say well come on channel a lot of people go hey, go missing when I uh, when I mention that so feel free to uh, come on channel I ain't got a problem with that uh, now I've just uh, had a big appointment this morning regarding channel it's all going it so knackered. Uh, but I'm wearing my night tracks up today, matches my new trainers. Thank you very much to Stephanie for them trainers. Very nice of you. Uh, thank you very much. You startled me coming up to uh, my office, but thank you very much. Uh, now. I just want to mention to the people that have broke into, well, have tried to break in on Saturday night. Uh, you've tried to break in and you're on camera. I mean, brains are Britain, aren't you? Uh, I don't know why you want to do that. It's obviously to try and uh, get me kicked out of that office because it's not gone down too well, obviously people trying to break into a place where I've been given an office it's not good is it but is it the same people that have that keep sending me emails to porkycorner at mail.com pretending to be YouTube so let me just let me just say something to you right before we start the email address that you click on on YouTube where it where you go on to that bit where it says about and then it tells you how many views we've got and then you, and then email address you click on that and then it'll check to see whether you're a robot or not whatever that email address that comes up is porkycorner at mail.com now but the email address that I deal with internally for YouTube is is not that email address so I don't open your emails uh, I have somebody deal with them we don't open them, we're not thick. Obviously I'm thick and daft, aren't I? And I try to deal with everything, but the channel's doing that good now. I've got a bit of help. So, so I've got people to thank that are around me, but like I said, you try to break in, you're not gonna get in, it's a secure place, but it's, uh, it's no doubt gonna cause me some issues next 20 minutes when I get there but what can you do you've tried everything to block me Twitter Facebook cause me umpteen problems kills me of all sorts even some people have even twisted things and said things to fighters to try and make me look in a bad light give people bullets to fire well let me tell you this still here aren't I and you know what I don't like to play it sympathy though but the people that are around me know what sort of person I am so I shouldn't be bothered about things like this but actually breaking into trying to trying to break in it's, uh, what's, what, what, what are you going to nick a load of cardboard boxes or are you after some sellotape you're stocking up for Christmas with sellotape is that what it is? Hey. Eh? Anyway, let's, let's put that to one side. I'll deal with that when I get up there. 
ain't going anywhere and to be honest with you got an office at Dennis's anyway but I like this office up at here up here and I like it but people are doing the best aren't they to shut me down now you're not going to get into this place where my office is it's not hard to work out where it is nobody's going to get in there if you do what you're going to nick knock to nick all you're going to do is cause me aggravation so the same so I just want to get that off my chest and obviously the person that's took all my centre caps off my car you know these black centre pings that go in the middle of my alloys which they're not cheap we've got price four of them up from Mercedes so thank you very much for the person that's done that and then emailing me and bragging about it so these are just a few little teething problems that we're having to put up with but we're not giving up because we're at the business end now with the channel and I like to talk a bit of business you know I, I like to work with people that like to make business decisions because basically I'm just a tow rag aren't I that's blagged it I've blagged it with channel and I've blagged it with channel and uh, I'm in a good position though now so for the blood sweat and tears is all is all been worth it now and I'm looking at get I'm looking at getting a position for me pal from Leeds Paul as soon as there's a position for you Paul I want to I'm gonna get I'm gonna get you on board I don't know what I'd probably be doing something with com com computer uh, but I've already got a cameraman on standby. Frank's going to do my camera work when we get bigger. So it's nice that people are willing to help me, innit? But like I said, these people that are trying to block me and cause me trouble behind scenes, all you're going to do is make me stronger because I'm a very determined person. You will see. I'm very determined and no frightens me. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, yeah, I'm cheesed off this morning. I think I can't believe that people are trying to be chess players and they're trying to block me. I could be behind scenes to stop my channel. It's not heartbreaking. Heartbreaking's when you're in prison and you've got children and your kids are wanting trainers to go to school and you're in prison and your missus can't get up to see you. She can't put petrol in cars. She's having to go on bus to visit you. Because there's no wages coming in. That's heartache to me. So, so this is just a walk in the sky, innit? This is a luxury. But like I've just said to you there, teething problems. Now, eventually, all you people that are trying to block me, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn you from haters into followers. Alright? That's what I'm going to do. You can't see it at the moment, but that's what I'm going to do to you. Alright? Sooner or later, the penny's gonna drop and you're gonna say, do you know what? Oh pork, you are right. You were right. So, alright. Oh well, they're here. I wonder where they were. Oh. This video is going to be called Billy Joe Saunders. Has he missed the boat? Well, we've already done that one, haven't we? A bit back. I was saying this about a year ago with Billy Joe, and everybody said I was mad. Since then, who has he been? Billy Joe Saunders, the Billy Joe Saunders conundrum. People keep telling me that he's best middleweight boxer in the world. He's got skills to burn. He has got skills to burn. Billy Joe has got skills. Billy Joe can whack as well, but the style he likes to fight in, he's not a KO artist, but if he sits down on his punches a bit more, like Tyson Fury's saying he is, he can whack. Now, he eats hard enough to keep people off him. Now, this is how I look at it, and I think it's the same with Tyson, with Billy. They say one thing, and they do another. Now, we keep hearing about Billy Joe Canelo, Billy Joe Triple G. I don't want to see Triple G now, he's all washed up. I want to see Billy Joe and Canelo. 
That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. Billy Joe Canelo. 168 pound. I want to see Callum Smith against John Ryder. Now Joe Gallagher's putting it about that they'll fight John Ryder now. Do you know why that is? Because the Canelo fight's not there for them, so they've got to keep Eddie Earn sweet. Eddie Earn holds all the cards. Look at him there going up on path there on a motorbike. All the way. Crazy. Eddie Earn holds all the cards. That copper's there. Unbelievable. So Eddie's holding all the cards, isn't he? So what, what, what can Billy Joe do? Well, for starters, he can start making a bit of noise and get his son out there as if to say he's going to fight someone because for years and years and years now, since Billy Joe won the world title as a middleweight, 2015, all I've heard is, I want Canelo, I want Triple G. That's all I'm hearing. I don't even know if he wants Daniel Jacobs. I don't know. I think that's a 50-50 fight. And I don't think Billy Joe is going to risk it against Daniel Jacobs for the simple reason that it's an hard fight. But I also think Daniel Jacobs has got mileage on clock. That's what I think. It's my opinion and I'm not entitled to it. <laughs> Let me just take a moment out to thank all them people that have subscribed to Porky's Corner. Been in my heart forever. Mainly, I want to thank you even more for watching. Because without you watching, you can't do all this, can I? Now, it's not that long ago that I remember starting this channel with Chris Smedley in office, trying to put me off, trying to put me off behind camera, and coming out with just dry stuff that he comes out with, Chris. It's not that long ago that I did my, I think it was my fifth or sixth video. I think I did. Uh, Josh Whale and Anthony, I think I did one with Anthony Tomlinson Anthony Tomlinson and David Allen I remember him writing a script out how we wanted to rehearse it and all that I mean so I've only ever done that once I won't do it like that again because I like to do it off cuff but when I first started out I didn't really have a, I didn't really know what I was on with did I but we've come a long way now and I've just I'm not going to mention too much but I've just been I've just had three hours worth uh, with some people that are helping me with the channel, professional people, and I'm really tired. Stand there, do this, do that, come in here and do this, and keep your faith focused, and oh my god, take 52. We've, gone, we've had all that to do today, we've had a lot on. Uh, but it's all good, it's all, the channel's coming on. Uh, Today's probably going to be one of the most important days in channel's history today. Uh, really important. I've got that much on this week now, I am snowed in with it. But I was sat in my bedroom last night and I'm thinking, I've got all this on today and tomorrow, and I'm not getting paid. So how am I enjoying it? It's a bit like this guy who I know who's a doorman. Yeah, and I'm not going to say his name. So I'm not going to give him uh, any kudos but he's a bit of a bully this doorman and he keeps telling me that he loves boxing and he does anything for boxing but yet he's taking a wage this guy this guy is a good friend of one of my mates he's taking a wage to be a doorman at amateur boxing shows he's actually taking money from the people putting on these shows. He's standing there like what he is, a doorman. A doorman. And he's taking a wage for people going to a working men's club, watching amateur fights. And he's taking a wage off these people that run it with amateur scene. Nah. I spoke to him this morning. I just basically said, do you like boxing? He said, I love it, I'd vote for boxing, me, Porky. I said, would you? He says, yeah. He said, I'm like you. He said, you know, you go with your camera, you film these amateur shows. He says, yeah, I do, yeah. I'm not going to be doing too many of them, because I've got to start thinking about me and what's right for me. Nah, but I like to help people who are right with me. Now, this guy takes a wage. So I said, 
don't tell me that you're, you're all for boxing. You're taking a wage out of it. It's well, I've got, I can't do it for notes. I said, yeah, but there's hardly going to be any trouble, is there? I'm at a boxing show, he's taking a wage, but yet he's telling me that he's hardcore and that it's what he wants to do moving forward. I can't get my head around that. The real soldiers of this boxing circle, this boxing family, the people that put the time in with amateurs, they're the real heroes of boxing and they don't get enough credit in my opinion. People like Terry, my friend, Terry Chapandama. Uh, he's not everybody's cup of tea on social media, but he's boxing inside out. Then always says to me, he loves boxing, doesn't he, Terry? First and foremost, he's boxing, isn't he? I says, yeah, all aspects of it. He's like me. People say, oh, would you carry a spit bucket, Ross? I say, yeah, of course I would. Well, Terry doesn't take a penny out of amateur. Fair enough, he's got a good job on it, he works at a banker isn't he but he gives his time up doesn't he I can't give my time up and people don't get enough credit so all you people out there who work in boxing industry especially in the amateur setup we don't take a penny I think that's brilliant I think it's really really good and you deserve a pat on back so well done but getting back to Billy Joe Saunders what next for Billy Joe well I don't know but can I just say this, and it's not a dig at Billy Joe. We all know he's a masterful boxer and he's won everything. Who cares? Does anybody care anymore? I think it's the same old thing, but just repeated, isn't it? He's doing the same old thing with Eddie Hearn as he was doing with Frank Warren, but he's just repeating it. He's just probably, do you know what I mean? Now, can I just point out, right, that Frank Warren, people keep saying, oh, he's left Frank Warren because Frank couldn't deliver for him. Well, people were blaming Frank because he couldn't deliver and blah de blah. Fair enough, but look at it like this. Billy Joan would necessarily never speak to Eddie Hearn again because he accused Eddie of having him stripped at the WBO middleweight title. Now that's what Billy Joe said, his words. He's now being promoted by Edward John Hearn. Now Edward John Hearn or Edward John Hills Whatever you want to call him, it's Edward John, isn't it? Old Johnny, Eddie Johnny. Now, old Rubber Johnny Eddie, old Eddie Hills, that's what we're going to call him from now on, Eddie Hills. Old Eddie, Eddie Hills stripped Billy Joe and then went and signed him. The brass neck on him is unbelievable. Now, what sort of person lets somebody do that? They take your world title belt off you, then you, then you jump in bed with them. Now, Think on about Tyson Fury's IBF belt. Now, he, Tyson's running around all houses saying that Eddie Hearn got him stripped and they were going, they were manoeuvring stuff behind the scenes with Kathy Dover and blah 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 to get that fight on with Charlie Martin and the other guy, Spilker or whoever his name was. Now, you could say that it were true, it were all true, but they left themselves wide open, didn't they? Uh, Tyson's team they left an opening and Eddie snuck in now Eddie snuck in and did that as far as I'm concerned you never want to speak to that person again now Billy Joe had his belt and took off Eddie and he's speaking to Eddie he's been promoted by him and Tyson Fury he'll end up promoted by Eddie Hearn so get ready now as regards Billy Joe's ex-promoter Frank Warren, did he deliver for him? Well, he won area title, British, Commonwealth, European and a world champion in 2015 and he left him in 2019 as a two-weight world champion, 29-0, undefeated, he was 28-0 when he left. So he's 28-0 and he's left. And he's 30 year old, Frank Warren put him in position to get the big money fights. That is the truth. Frank Warren delivered for Eddie Hearn. For, for Frank Warren delivered for Billy Joe Saunders. No ifs, no buts, he delivered for him. So, good kid in there.
He delivered for him now. It looks to me like Billy Joe is trying to play Eddie Earn. Tails wagging dog. I don't know why, but for some reason, everything's gone quiet on Billy Joe Canelo. I might be wrong, they could have made it tomorrow, but the point I'm trying to make is this. That fight is a fantastic fight, Canelo and Billy Joe, but Billy Joe knows that the massive puncher like Kovalev couldn't budge Canelo. So Billy's not gonna budge him, is he? Billy's certainly not gonna get a points decision because it'll be Vegas. Because Billy doesn't sell a ticket, does he? So they can't have it over here. Eddie Earn wouldn't dare risk putting that on over here. Oh my God, uh-uh. So Billy Joe's gonna have to fight Canelo and it can only be in Vegas. And Canelo, well, we all know what's gonna happen, don't we? Canelo will probably win five rounds to Billy's five with two rounds shared. It'll be a close fight, but Canelo will get the decision by four or five rounds. That's just how it goes. Eddie Earn will scream blue murder, they'll want to roll dice again. That's what will happen, basically, in a nutshell. So, it's just how it is really, that's how it goes. Now, I don't mean to be harsh, but I don't think Billy Joe will get a decision. I think there'll be some stages in fight where they'll box Canelo's ears off. What are you doing, love? You're on your phone texting and turning around the corner. Do you know who I am? Right, so Billy Joe's be laid in bed at night and he'll be thinking, if I fight Canelo, I'm going to get beat on points. That's what he'll be thinking, so he's going to want as much money as he can to fight Canelo. That's what's, that's what's holding it up. Does Billy Joe want to get beat? No, he don't want to get beat. Will he want to go through his career with it? No, you bet he will. Has he been protected? Uh, has Billy Joe been protected? Yes, I think he has been protected, his record. He's a good fighter, great fighter, but he's been protected, hasn't he? Now, he's not wanted the big fights, has he? He's one of them, I mean, Tyson Fury calls people like Billy Joe British champions, doesn't he? He called Joe Calzaghe a British champion in an interview with Coogan Cassius. So if Joe Calzaghe is a British world champion, is Billy Joe a British world champion? Well, Tyson's words, not mine. You can't say one thing for one person and not mean the other. You've got to say it, follow it, got to follow it through. Has Billy Joe got a padded record? Do we use that word now? Padded? Or do we call it protected? Or do we call it hanging about until big promoters fall? I don't know, but you'd say Billy Joe's record's been padded since he's been a world champion. Because he's been a world champion since 2015 and his best wins, Andy Lemieux. Uh, Andy Lee and David Lemieux. So, let's see what damage has been done here. So, I think that's about it really, 23 minute drive from there, that's about it, so thank you for subscribing everybody and liking the channel, if you haven't subscribed already, will you do so, it's the bottom right hand corner, I uh, prefer it if you leave a comment as well, let me know what you think to the channel, if you want to get in touch regarding the channel send me an email porkycorner at mail.com that's for those who don't want to uh, come on the who, who don't want to comment on the texas on youtube because i'm only on youtube for social media we don't do anything else now i can't I, I overload my head too much as regards getting in touch to come on the channel just email me porkycorner at mail.com send me uh, your phone number and i'll ring you up um, or, or I'll email you back and we'll we'll agree a, a time uh, uh, which is best which is convenient for both of us if you've got any ideas regarding the channel get in touch if you've got any ideas about sponsors who want to sponsor the channel get in touch by all means somebody will deal with your email she's called Carly and she will deal with it and uh, advise you accordingly all right I think that's about it really uh, 
so all right so peace out shout out to Stephen Davy as well in Devon I hope you're well I hope you're fighting your cancer uh, I don't really know what to say to somebody that's got something like that all I can do is say a prayer for you every night and that I hope you're genuine uh, all right no oh, all right take care yeah, I'm alright, I'll park here, yeah? Sure. Yeah, I'm okay, yeah. No, tell me, man. Alright, I'll uh, come and see. They're two, they're two customers, them, they just bought them for the OG. Are they? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to move these two out of the way, I've made space for them. No, you're alright. What, they're coming? Are you busy? No, no, well. You've got that pitch over there now, yeah, haven't you? So. Yeah, yeah. Alright then, what's he after that? What? Tell you, what's he after BMW? Yeah, man. You'll sort it. Oh, yeah. So. I'll move these two out. No problem, mate. Alright, you take care. Peace out.